Hi there, Frank here for premium members for the trading day of August the 13th, 2024, a Tuesday. So just as a quick reminder, Wednesday we'll have a webinar for Shark Week, our good friends at Shark Indicators. It should be a lot of fun, so please make sure you register. Just head to the blog or directly to Shark Indicators Shark Week page and register for the event. And now let's look at the markets here, starting with the ES. There's no information since yesterday. I have a slightly bullish bias. I don't think this is something that is very likely to occur now, but everything's possible. But my criteria is for a trade is a breakout from this range, something like this. If it breaks to the upside, then when you enter, you see, there's no need to enter right away. You can wait for the pullback. So the first hint will just give you the direction, the possible direct or the expected direction of the trade. Also, we talked about the daily. If the daily guides you, then wait for the first bar closing above the 50. Whichever rule you choose, just pick the rule and stick to it. That's it. Let's move on to other indexes just for a quick look, but I didn't see anything earth shakingly different here. The NQ is just the same picture. So that's what I see. Also, please note the global risk factors the potential events on the Middle East and also in Russia. And also U.S. elections are coming up in 90 days or so, and there are potential effects here on the markets as well. All right, so, and just another general guideline, which I think is just old market wisdom for technical traders. Whatever our opinions are about these things, keep them apart from your trading. Your trading should be price action based wherever price goes. We try to go with it. Okay, and now after that little general guidance, let's look at currencies. I saw some good opportunities here. Look at this. This is a very unusual pullback, complex pullback. Let's call it whatever we will, but this price, I think, is going to hit the upper counter. Not a big trade. I would tighten stop. And let's see if we can take it to 1R up here, the previous pivot. I think we will be able to. I think that's where the edge is. And I think it's worth pursuing this one. And also, let's look at the some of the other ones. You see 6A breakout trade. I know the resistance zone here in the middle, but the bottom tail points towards the continuation of the momentum, at least to the upper counter on the daily. That's my theory and my expectation and that's what i'm ready to pursue if we get triggered there's a very good one too on the new zealand dollar we don't trade this very often but please note new zealand dollar can be very good market to trade look at the remec converter risk reading you see one atr on the daily chart is well almost the smallest amount in in u.s dollars terms, you see, so it's actually 20 times, you see, 20 times less risky than the NQ. Not too many traders know that, you see, so always keep an eye on these numbers here. They are a objective indication of the risk involved when we trade a certain market. By the way, NQ last week was something like 14,000, so it was even more volatile than uh, in the past couple of days. All right, anyway, good breakout trade here to the upside on the 6N. And also CL is moving to the upside. It's hard to get a grip because there was no pullback, but this happens too. I was waiting for a pullback, didn't get it. No hard feelings, let's see what happens. But remember that CL is also correlated with HO and RB. So sometimes you get the pullback on the HO. So if you trade energies, for example, right now, we're expecting a pullback on the HO. On energies, if you trade them, be mindful of the risk, 24, 2500, CL 2100, and also 2400 RB. So these are pretty much the same risk and not like negligible, at least compared to the, some of the currencies here relatively require a large account, but once that part is done, the math is done, then the market can be very 
grateful if we do it right. And also, let's look at the RB once we are talking about energies. Here we go. RB is already triggered and marching towards a 1R here. MBT, Bitcoin in general. I think Bitcoin is moving to the upside. Not a pretty situation here, but that doesn't really matter. What matters is if we want to consider a position here. I think this trigger area, or maybe a more conservative trigger area around between 60 to 64, could be a good area to go long and target 80,000, you see, on the daily chart. Precious metals, as we forecasted, gold is hitting the upper edge of the range. I don't think it will stop here. This is a breakout trade. And uh, be positioned in gold. Gold is 2,500. If 2,500 breaks by the end of the year, we could be at 3,000. I don't want to make projections because nobody knows, but this is what I expect. And SI, which is a little bit more quiet, but let's not forget about SI because any day it, can, it is capable of making a big move and then it becomes obvious for the crowds. And that's when the turf will become hot. And by that time, you should be in position. The smart money, I think, is already occupying positions here on SI. You can also look at the stocks, miners, the Canadian. If you have access to stocks, look at Canadian silver mine, mines and gold mines. Prices are going up. So I think there's a little subtle accumulation here in these markets. And keep an eye on precious metals if you are interested. And you should be, I think. So, looks like a good Tuesday. Let's focus and we'll be back in the morning. Thank you very much and mindful trading.